Cool pick. Want to save it as a JPEG or a JPG? What's raw? That's supposed to be better, right? Or hey, let's get things moving and make it a GIF. Yeah. Whatever. This is DIY in five. Hey everyone, my name is Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in five, the show where we make tech simple enough that you can do it yourself. Today, we're going to go over the various types of image file formats used and what their differences are and why you might choose one over another. What I will not dictate to you is how you choose to pronounce the GIF file format. Tomato, tomato, that's up to you. Before we dive in, one quick request. If you find the content in today's video useful, please click that thumbs up to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. There are two primary types of image files. Raster images, also known as bitmap, are pixel-based graphics that exist at one resolution. And vector images, which are geometry-based graphics where the resolution can be more fluid. Raster images may distort or degrade in quality when you alter them from their original resolution, and for this reason, are typically found when talking about photos, digital art, and web graphics. On the other hand, vector images are usually used for logos, icons, and fonts because they are not resolution dependent. For the purposes of today's video, we'll focus on raster images, since those are the file formats you're most likely to come across. Raster images can be either lossy or lossless. As you can probably guess from the name, lossless files lose none of the original data from the image. These files tend to be rather large in size to accommodate. Lossy files are typically smaller and will use clever tricks to pare down the image, making it easier to load where, say, internet speed might be an issue. Now that we've got that squared away, a JPEG is probably the most common image file type, and chances are good you've heard of it before. It is a lossy raster format that's ideal for low resolution, medium quality images. Think websites, social media, and sharing. Most digital cameras and smartphones save images as JPEG and most applications support this file type. Fun fact, JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group, the tech team that developed it. And if you see JPG instead of JPEG, not to worry. The two are for all intents and purposes, one in the same. JPEGs are great for a wide variety of situations since they're the most flexible type of file format when it comes to editing and compression. They are not good for graphics that require transparency or if you need a layered editable image. If you do need transparency in your image, the PNG is where it's at. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics and is lossless with higher color depths. PNG is great for static images, logos, and print with transparent backgrounds, and can even offer varying degrees of transparency, not just on or off. Plus, PNG files can shrink incredibly small, especially if they use simple colors and shapes. You probably don't want to use a PNG if you have a very complex image, because the lossless nature of PNG could lead to a very large file size, or if you're printing since PNG is really optimized for screen. Similar to PNG is TIFF, or Tagged Image File Format, another lossless raster format. TIFF files are one of the highest quality graphics formats available and are commonly used by professionals in publishing, graphics, and the print industry. High quality scans are normally saved as TIFF files as well. The downside of TIFF files is that they require more storage space. Not so great for browser images where download speed will be an issue. But if you're looking to print or publish commercial or professional work, TIFF is what you're looking for. Rhyming but not at all the same, the GIF or GIF is a lossless raster format that stands for Graphics Interchangeable Format. On the pronunciation thing, while graphics starts with G, the person who created the file format says GIF. However you decide to pronounce it, GIFs are a very commonly used web image format, usually showing some type of animation. Think animated banners or memes. Even though they are lossless, they can still be exported in relatively small file sizes, making them ideal for web use. Plus, they have the ability, like a PNG, to have transparency. They do not, however, have a wide range of color options, so very colorful images will look flatter if converted to a GIF and I wouldn't recommend them for printing for the same reason. 
Finally, the raw image file type is often used by photographers because it includes all the unprocessed data captured by a digital camera. There are many types of raw formats with Canon and Nikon and Adobe, each having their own, for example, CRW, NEF, and DNG, respectively. This is the highest quality image possible for editing and understandably comes with a hefty file size as a result. While ideal for photographers and photo editors, you wouldn't want to use raw image files for websites or printing, since most printers won't accept that file format anyway. To break it down and oversimplify a bit, JPEGs are great for general image sharing. TIFF is great for printing or commercial applications. PNG is best for transparency. GIF is good for animations. And RAW is best for photographers and photo editors. Huzzah! If you have any questions on this overview or would like to know about other image file formats not listed in this video, feel free to comment below and someone from the Kingston community will do their best to get you an answer. Or maybe you'll see a future DIY in five made just for your question. Who knows? Take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Happy image sharing.